Hi friends, welcome back. So I know I said I was going to do a trash of treasure on these Dose of Colors matte lipsticks. But I'm still kind of figuring out how I feel about them. I'm still kind of playing with them, so I'm not really ready for that. But what I am ready for is part two of my birth month haul. Literally, I basically just got all this stuff right now. So I'm very excited. I just want to break into all of it and kind of just go in. This time around, I have stuff from Ulta, Sephora, a teeny bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills. I do have more stuff coming from Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I guess now i got to do a part three. So... We're just going to do this. There's a lot more stuff here in the second one than there was in the first one. So we're just going to start grabbing shit. I'm going to start with Sephora because that is where the majority of this stuff is from. The first thing that I grabbed from Sephora is this concealer from Makeup Forever. This is the full cover concealer. It just looks like this. This is shade number 7. I don't know what the name of it is, but I guess I will put it right here or I'll link it down below. This, I saw I'm Reezy using this, and you know, anything I'm Reezy gets, anything I'm Reezy uses, I'm just like, boop, purchase, let's go. In my mind, what's going to happen is I'm going to put it on, and then I'm just going to look like I'm Reezy. Like, I'm just going to look fucking fabulous. Next thing that I have here is from Becca. I have a couple of Becca things, some from Ulta, some from Sephora. So I guess we're just going to do the Sephora ones first. This is the Mineral Blush, and this is the shade of Flower Child. Now, I'm obviously easily influenced because Jaclyn Hill is in love with these Becca blushes. And I was just like, I need to have every one that she has. I have to have it. Let me have it. So this is the shade Flower Child. This is kind of, ooh. This looks kind of like a NARS orgasm type of a situation. I do have NARS orgasm. It's really, I mean, it's a nice blush, but it's not like my favorite blush in the world. Just because I don't really um, go towards those kind of blushes. Like those pinky ones. I'm more of a orangey peach kind of a girl. I was on a blush kick by the way so you're gonna be you're gonna see I was literally just buying a whole bunch of blushes. There was more blushes that I wanted but I was just not gonna do it. So this next one is also a Becca blush. This is the shade Damselfly and this one is more up my alley. It's more orangey peachy which like I said is where I'm at so I cannot wait for these Becca blushes, you guys don't even know. I was like, that's why I ordered from Ulta and Sephora because some were sold out on Ulta, some were sold out on Sephora. I was like, I gotta get them all, gotta get them all. Let's go. It's my birth month. I can't afford to miss one. Sticking with my blush kick here and my self being easily influenced by Jaclyn Hill, I have a Kat Von D blush and this is the shade Bellissima. Bellissima. This also looks kind of like Nars Orgasm, but it looks like a little more orange. And another Kat Von D blush. This time I was easily influenced by... Who's all easily influenced by? Samantha from Battlelash. Um, I'm sure you guys all know her, so I'm not even going to bother telling you her channel's amazing. Like, you know. You know she's the shit. I don't have to tell you. So this is the color Wish. You guys know this is her shit. And holy crap, this looks like this is going to be my shit. Oh my god. It's orange as fuck, which is where I'm at. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Seriously, I don't know why I bought so much blush. You guys know I don't even care about blush like that. Something boring. I just bought another beauty blender because I love these fuckers. You know I love these fuckers. The ones that I have are getting kind of old and raggedy. So my mom just sneezed. She's so fucking loud. And I got the black one because like all my other ones have stains that will not come out. And it's so annoying. The black one that I have is like it looks brand spanking new. Like. So I was like, let me get a black one. I, don't, I mean, if I could open this fucking packaging, that'd be great. Yeah, this is like not gonna happen later. Another thing I'm sure you guys saw coming. I have a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick here. Because, you know, the... How many do I have? Like five now? This would be like six, I think. That's apparently not enough. So I need some more. Um, This one's the shade Pink Quartz. I was very hesitant to buy this because you guys already know... Me and Pink are, like, not besties, like, on my cheekbones as a highlight. But I saw fucking swatches, man. Stop. I just... I have to show you what I'm talking... Oh, my God. It doesn't even come off pink whatsoever. It's like... Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Um, let me tell you. These are the best highlighting products ever. Ever. Becca's Shimmering Skin Perfectors, which I do have another one to show you guys later 
are also pretty kick-ass but I think these just blow everything out of the water they're my favorite well I mean what you got to take into consideration here is that I like to shine like fucking crazy like I want you to see my highlight from like three blocks down so if you don't like that you won't like this but if you're like me and we're just like blank 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 shine bright like a diamond then me and you just do it the most exciting thing about this whole entire haul let me tell you girl I just got this foundation this is the YSL why is that totally not the name oh there it is YSL fusion ink foundation I am so freaking excited for this foundation I hope I got the right color because I picked the shit out online but I got the shade B65 Toffee. I kind of suck at picking my shade, to be honest. But, I mean, it looks like it'll match in the bottle. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. I literally... The reason I wanted to get this haul done was so I can fucking put this all over my face. Just like, ugh! I am so excited. I saw a whole bunch of first impressions. Everybody said they loved it. I do not have any other YSL foundations. I don't have the, um... Why the fuck am I having a brain fart? Is it like Le Touche Clat? Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I don't have that one. I do have oily skin, so I'm not sure if I want that one or not. I'm like thinking about it, but I'm not sure. I might go get a sample, but I just, this one, I knew I was going to get it. I don't care. I don't care. I just don't care. Here I have a NARS product. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I do have another shade, but the one I have is kind of light. It's looking kind of nuts on my face. So I just got the shade Custard. Another Extremely exciting thing. These are the new NARS Audacious lipsticks. I wanted three of them. One of them was sold out and I don't really feel like going to the store. I was supposed to before the haul, but I might go later or like another day, but I just I didn't feel like doing it today. So this is the box that they come in. These are so fucking expensive. So they better be like the best things my lips ever touched, ever. So the first, oh my god, this packaging. I saw everybody talking about these lipsticks. And they said the packaging was so good. But, like, they weren't fucking getting. This packaging is the shit. Like, look at this. So I got colors that I would gear towards. So there's no nudes in here, of course. So the first one is Geraldine, which is just like an orange color. And I really like oranges that don't lean red. Because a lot of oranges lean, like so red i rather just an orange like i want it to be orange so the carl Ge the, the the color geraldine looks like it did that for me it is such a beautiful orange i was like and you know me and my orange lips i had to do it so i'm super duper excited for these lipsticks super duper duper excited the second color that i got like i said i wanted three but one of them was sold out. The one that was sold out was Greta, which is like a bright, it looks like kind of Max and Passion. So this one is the shade Live, which blew my balls when I saw it. I was like, I must have this. Must. Must. You guys already know this. This is the shit that I gear towards. So this is like a deep plum kind of color. I'm not going to lie. It looked darker online. I'm not going to lie to you. But and still, nonetheless, it looks fucking great. Like, I cannot wait. I can't wait to pop this shit on with some Night Moth. Stop. Another lip product. Oh my god, I have so many of these. What the f I have so many lip products in this haul. Seriously? This might as well have just been like a blush lip product haul. So, the, another um, lip product is this Dior Fluid Stick. I do have one other color. I think the color is Whisper Beige. And I'm not a lip gloss girl. You guys know I'm not about lip gloss whatsoever. But when I put that Whisper Beige on, man... It was like my life, my whole lip gloss life was a lie. So I had to pick up another color, but I don't really, I wouldn't want like a dark, like any kind of dark color for lip gloss. I just don't think that would work out for me. So I got the color Mirage, which is supposed to be kind of like a peachy, nudie situation. Whisper Beige is like completely like nude. I thought this was a really pretty color as well. And ugh. These are also expensive as shit, but I just, I had to do it. I had to. It's my birth month. Another lip product that is also expensive as shit is this Hourglass Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipstick. Again, I was influenced by Samantha from Battle Lash Beauty. She said it was like popping as fuck, and 
I have the color Icon, and I think it's pretty kick-ass, but I guess I wanted this one now, so this is it. I'm not going to lie, I've been kind of dying to swatch this, so I might swatch it right now. Okay. Okay, it's nice. It might not change my life or anything, but it's nice. It's right here. There it is. You know me and my liquid lipsticks. I cannot get enough. Liquid lipsticks are like life. They're life. They are life. Speaking of liquid lipsticks, I got a Sephora cream lip stain. And this is the shade 04 Endless Purple, I think. It just says 04, but I'm pretty sure it's called Endless Purple. Yes, it's called Endless Purple. I have several other Sephora cream lip stains, and they are very, very impressive, in my opinion. They're not as expensive. They're like $13. They're not as expensive as a lot of other liquid lipsticks are. And the quality is there, so... They really impressed me with this one. I know nobody really likes to buy from the Sephora, the Sephora brand, myself included, but I had to make an exception because this product is awesome. So this is the color Endless Purple. I just, I don't know, I was feeling mauve or something. And that is pretty. I wanted to swatch this one too, really badly. So it is right here next to canvas. The excitement that I have while doing this haul, I'm just like, is it tomorrow yet so I can put my makeup on? One more liquid lipstick. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I do have, again, I have a lot of colors of this, but I didn't have this one and I saw somebody wearing it and I cannot remember who it was for the life of me, so sorry. But I saw somebody wearing, what is this fucking plane doing right now? Can you fucking pass? Give it a minute. Are you done? I did not have this color and I saw somebody wearing it and I was just like, oh, why is that not on my mouth? So this is the color Baja 5. I'm not gonna lie, it's the weirdest fucking name ever, like Baja 5. Oh my god, is that the name of a font? I think that's the name of a font. Baja 5. That is definitely the name of a font. Oh my god. So it's like this purple, but not really. I don't even know how to explain this color. It's like a uh, very rosy purple, I guess, is what I would call it. And it's very vivid, which all the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are. They are like boom, boom in your face, which is what I like personally. So when I saw this color, oh Jesus. I was like, yes, give me. And I'm still like, yes, give me. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of Utopia, but there's kind of a little bit more plum in it, I feel. It's me and my liquid lipsticks, I told you guys, I'll tell you again. They are my absolute favorite. They are the most long-lasting, like liquid lipsticks in general, are the most long-lasting lipsticks. They're the mattest, which I like matte, I like long-lasting, and they're the most vivid, I feel. And I like vivid. I think that's everything I got from Sephora that was like full size. Now I have like a whole bunch of samples and shit. So... First thing, I spent a hundred of my points, because I have like a shit ton, as I'm sure you know. <laughs> I spent a hundred of my points, and I got this Makeup Forever um, lip pencil, Aqua Rouge, is it Aqua Rouge lip pencil? Makeup Forever Aqua Lip, that's all it says. And this is the color 3C, and it's just a nude. Um, yeah, it's just a nude. It's right here next to the Sephora cream lip stain. It's just a nude. I like, yeah, whatever. It was worth 100 points to me. And I spent another 100 points, and I got the Porefessional. And I have tried the Porefessional before, but it was kind of like in my beginning of exploring into makeup, kind of, like, years ago. And I didn't like it years ago, so I kind of just never bought it. So this is a little baby size, and I'm going to see if now I like it, since everybody else likes it. I want to know if I like it. Come on. One more thing. Last thing. I got this, um, it was like a promo going on that you get like a deluxe sample size of the Their Real push-up liner. Um, I'm not going to open this because I don't really know what's going on in there. Like, I don't know if I open it, it's like everything going to just explode or what the fuck is going to happen. So I'm just going to leave it closed. But I am really, I'm excited. I wanted to give it a go, so now I can for free. So now moving on to the random things, and then I guess I'll do Ulta last. Ulta is really only like three or four things, so it's not a big deal. So we'll go with Gerard Cosmetics, which is something that I was waiting for in the first part of this haul. Which, by the way, 
my brother took my products. He literally took them and hid them in his drawer so I couldn't find them. Bro. Okay. So this is a Gerard Cosmetics lipstick. This is my first purchase from Gerard Cosmetics. This is a lipstick in 1995. I know everybody's obsessed with this Kylie Jenner nude, whatever. Um, I like the lipstick. I'm not going to lie to you. The color is gorgeous. It kind of makes me sad that we have to call it a Kylie Jenner lip, but whatever. Was she even born in 1995? Like, I don't even know. Whatever. So this is the, this is the lip right here. I mean, the lipstick right here. It's a really pretty color. I haven't, you know, worn it or anything because I'm, I've am i been holding off for this haul. Once I wear it, I guess I'll let you know how I like the formula, if I want to purchase any more. Because I have seen that they have come out with, like, different colors. I haven't tried their lip glosses or anything like that. So, we'll see. We'll see how I feel. We'll just see. I wanted to do baby steps into the dry cosmetics, you know what I'm saying? Brother stole my Miami palette. You know how upset I was that I didn't have a Miami palette and everybody else had their damn Miami palette? I was so upset. Like, fuck. But I finally got it and I did use it on this look today because I just couldn't wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did use it in this look and I have to say I do really like it. Surprisingly to me because I didn't think I was going to like it. Uh, I do prefer my Anne Reezy palette, I'm not going to lie, but this one is really, really pretty too. Really pretty. And I did order the Tamana. Tamana? Tamana? Tamana. Tamana. You know what I'm talking about, the Dress Your Face palette. I did order that one, so that one should be on its way soon. I am just very excited. Anastasia's palettes have been popping as fuck lately. Like, she is pop I mean all her products are popping let's not even play games now let's just stop I forgot to say this for Sephora <laughs> so you know how my birthday's coming up in a week and like three days or whatever so I got the birthday gift but this is the one for the VIB Rouge and it just comes with it's a makeup forever birthday gift it comes with smoky extravagant or is it extravagant Extrava extravagant Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I'm going to call it that because that sounds cool. Smoky Extravagant Mascara, little baby size. This is a Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Natural in the shell in the shuller, the color N9, which kind of looks like that 1995 lipstick by Jacqueline Hill. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. They're a little bit different. They're, like, barely different. It's right here. The Jaclyn Hill one is more opaque, and this one is a little bit, has more like of a sheen. But other than that, they're pretty similar. The last thing that comes in here is... Shit. Okay, the last thing that comes in here is Aqua Eyes Eyeliner, and this is just the color 10. And I guess it's just black. Yeah, it's just black. Just a black liner. So now, on to Ulta, which is the last thing. And then we're done. For now, until part three. Part three. There will be a part three. And, I mean, my bank account is praying it's the last part. I mean, I think there's going to be a last a part three. I don't think I... Uh, you know what? There might not be a part three because I only ordered, like, two more things after this. No, guys. This is going to be the last part. I only ordered, like, lashes other than this. So, from Ulta, I picked up more Becca stuff. When you place an order with Ulta for Becca, I think it was, like, I don't know what the minimum was. You get a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Fuck. But not the press version. You get like the um, you know, this this kind, this kind, the liquid version, and you get it in the shade opal. And um, you know me and my highlight. I was so happy that I got this for free. I was like, yes. Oh my god, I'm fucking spilling it everywhere. Eh. Eh. It's all right. It's nothing special. Now for the products that I bought, this is another Becca blush. This is the shade Songbird. And I was really excited for these two blushes that I'm going to show you from Becca. These two I was really excited about. Like, really excited. So, like I said, this is the shade Songbird. This literally looks like just fucking perfect. Like, this is just perfect. This is like the most perfect color of blush ever. These are kind of small, though. I'm not going to lie. I definitely expect them to be bigger. I probably thought they were going to be like the Shimmering Skin Perfectors size. But it's alright. Because it's so damn gorgeous. And then the next. The next shade is ugh, Wild Honey. Ah! Um, you already know who I was influenced by, so I'm not even going to tell you, but... Oh my god. Stop. I gotta swatch it. I gotta swatch it. I just got to. You know I got to. 
I can't wait to put this on my cheeks. Oh my god. Do you know how excited I am to do my makeup for the next couple of days? I am. And the last thing that I purchased that I was very excited about, but to be honest, I did swatch it before this video because I was so damn excited. Probably not as excited as I was for the Fusion Ink Foundation, but I was pretty fucking excited. I'm kind of let down. I don't really like it. At least swatched. I mean, maybe on my skin, I'll like it better. Maybe, but I don't really like it. It's too, it's just too much. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Gold. I saw that this was limited edition. Ulta sent me like a little book, magazine, catalog thing. And I saw Champagne Gold and I was like, Champagne Gold? Champagne Gold? I don't have Champagne Gold. So I looked it up and I was like, um, I'm going to buy this. Okay, it's my birth month. So I bought it. And first of all, the packaging is fucking amazing. So it just looks like, you know, the regular shimmering skin perfectors but then it has that like engraving that rose gold has in it and I mean to me it's just too gold it's like yellow gold so I don't know how I feel about it I'm gonna keep playing with it of course and I'll I guess check you guys in on how I feel about it later on but as of right now it's just too gold for right now just too gold so that is it guys that is everything for my birth month haul part two like I said this will be the last part because you know, the other things are like little, you know, like the Tamana palette or like more lashes. Like just stuff that I'm not going to haul. It just makes no sense to haul. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my little baby series. And I promise, promise, promise my next video will be my Trash of Treasure on the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. Because like I said, I'm like trying to form my opinion on them. I'm not really positive on how I feel about them, but... I'm getting there. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!